Hey everybody, welcome to another Plus One Daily. As always, I am very honored, grateful, thankful that you have decided to spend a few minutes of your busy day listening to me talk about what I love, and that is internet marketing, affiliate marketing, list building, and everything and anything in between. So, as you guys know, I've really been hammering home the points the past couple of weeks, and especially this little experiment I've been doing on my other blog. Uh, I love list building. It's not a secret. Uh, heck, uh, my company and I even developed our own autoresponder system, rocketresponder.com, because we love list building. We truly believe in it. Uh, and I really had another aha moment this week when it came to list building. First of all, I'm going to throw some stats at you. Now, you know that 90% of statistics are all made up. But this is this really, part of my attempt at humor, but this really hammers home the point of why we, uh, you know, Grant Cardone calls the, the greatest sales secret of all time, and that is the follow-up. And this the, these points, these little statistics that I'm going to throw at you, really hammer home that point. So uh, this is something I have. Actually, it's, it's I'm going to, well, I better not take it off my, my computer screen, but it's, it's taped to the bottom of my computer screen. Uh, and I have this here for a reminder, and I tell myself this all the time when it comes to following up. And it's something here that says, 48% of all salespeople make one call and then stop. 25% of salespeople make two calls and stop. 15% make three calls and then stop. 12% keep going back and back and back and back. And they make, they make up 80% of all sales we conquer by continuing. That's something that I, when I saw that, I printed it out and I wanted to stick it by my computer to remind myself why I love internet marketing so much and why, excuse me, why I love list building so much and why I stress the importance of building one's list. And I have a real world example of this. So about a month ago, um, I, I, I can't remember exactly how I stumbled upon it. Maybe it was a Facebook ad. I'm not really sure. Uh, but uh, this this thing came across my computer that was called uh, the Bell the, excuse me the best self company and basically what it was was it was it was a it was a company that created these journals these 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 uh, step by step journals to be more productive uh, and they had rave reviews and people were in love with these things these are like there there's a whole bunch of these type of journals out there there's the five minute journal there's there's Grant Cardone's 10x journal there's there's a million one of these journals out there but this one really really kind of grabbed me so I signed up for their mailing list this was about a month ago but I didn't buy anything. I logged in. I looked at their their what they were offering, and a lot of the stuff was pretty expensive. I'm not, I'm not even I, like I don't mind spending money on something if there's a lot of value there. But for a journal, they were pretty pricey. Uh, I mean, for for me, it was about four. I think forty dollars Canadian or something, or forty. It was around that. So it wasn't like you know a twenty dollar journal or something. There was a little bit of an investment beside it. But whatever. I didn't buy it not because of the price. Again, if I see value in something, it doesn't matter what the price is. I'm going to buy it because it's giving me value. So, regardless, there was just I just didn't buy it. I don't, I'm not really sure why I didn't. Maybe it was just like, well, you know, I got a million and one journals. Heavens knows. I, I love my moleskin journals. I mean, I fill these things out constantly with quotes and stuff and things that I learn when I'm reading. But this book, this, this, this thing, just it, there was something about it that I was intrigued. But I didn't really buy it right then so this is about a month ago now when you join their mailing list and this is just an example i'm not trying to make a feature of this company i'm just expressing to you guys why you need to follow up and the importance of email marketing so i sign up for their list and each and every week for the past month they'd send me maybe one or two emails now these emails weren't hey go buy our stuff this is fantastic and you're gonna love it they were really really well crafted they looked really good. The content and the value inside of the emails was fantastic. It gave you productivity hacks, uh, really, really cool suggestions and articles and a whole bunch of value. So for a month, I might have got one or two emails a week. So let's say let's say we did two emails a week for four weeks, right? Four times two is eight. I'm good at math. I promise you I'm good at math. So we're, I'm getting about eight emails. Two days ago, give or take, I had this kind of like epiphany to, to, to I, they sent me an email and I opened it and I was like, you know what, this is, the, the stuff they're giving me is so valuable, their products, they're giving me this stuff for free, the products 
that they're selling must be astronomical. If I'm getting this much value just being on their list and they're following up with good content and fantastic resources and tips and tricks, their paid stuff must be amazing. So I made the leap. So it took eight exposures to this company and I still, you know, because of all the fancy dancy advertising on Facebook, uh, the retargeting and stuff, I saw the ads more than once, but I was already on their list. But because of this content and the follow-ups that they did, and it was eight times before they made a sale from me. So eight emails they sent, it took to make that sale. Now, obviously, everything's going to rest on how much I use their product and, and the value I get once I get it. But the sale was made. Now, it's like the, it's the, it's the handshaking. It's the taking out for dinner. Now they really get to impress me. And if their stuff is even better than what I expect it to be, <laughs> you know, I'm going to continue to be a customer. Um, so... Again, going back to this little quote, we conquer by continuing. The greatest sales secret of all time is the follow-up. You've heard this, the fortune is in the follow-up. So if you are getting into email marketing, you're not getting click-throughs or sales after two or three emails, you're not supposed to get sales after two or three emails. It's a bonus if you do, and you can make sales, but we conquer by continuing. Write that down, man. Like, seriously... Put, put that in front of you. Each and every day you read that, we conquer by continuing. That is such an aha moment. And especially if we're talking about email marketing, this is truly the secret. It's the golden nugget. It is the be all and end all of why we're list building in the first place. It might take eight times to develop the trust, the relationship. But if you continue, if you're continuing putting valuable stuff out there for the market and for your subscribers, you will make sales. You will build the relationships. You will win. Ah, it's it's guaranteed. It's almost guaranteed. It's just the, the law of internet marketing. It's the law of email list building. You conquer by continuing. So have a great day. I thank you guys once again for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you got a lot of value from this. Please do like us on Facebook. Um, just go to uh, facebook.com backslash or front forward slash slash just slash. Uh, plus one daily. I'm not sure if it's back or forward, man. I never really remembered that. Um, but have a great day. Be sure to like us and share this video with all your friends and family. And remember to plus one each and every day because that truly is how you conquer by continuing.